ladies and gentlemen, we're going to begin with parallelism. Now remember, parallelism isn't just for geometry. What we're working on here in English is matching format. Matching format just sounds better to our English ears when you're working on a list or when you're doing a comparison or a contrast. Basically, by keeping ideas parallel, it sounds good and it drives your point home. Okay, so I'm going to show you two different areas of that matching format. Let's look at this first example problem. I have learned to handle customers, answering the phone, and how to maintain a Rolodex. Each one of those things in the list has a different format, so it's unparalleled. If you have an, a question like this on the AccuPlace, so what you want to do is you want to find the answer that matches in all three areas. To handle customers, to answer the telephone, and to maintain a Rolodex. Each of them having two. Or, you can do, I have learned handling customers, answering the telephone, and maintaining a Rolodex. But all three have to have the same format. As long as you do that, your question will be answered correctly. Okay, now, when we're doing a comparison and contrast, just remember this. If it asks you to change the format of the sentence, when you change one half, you're gonna change the other. Let's look at this example. It is easy to see ahead in traffic when one drives a truck. But the same cannot be said when one drives a subcompact. So they're comparing driving a truck with driving a subcompact. Okay, so look at the parallel form. When one drives a truck is perfectly parallel with when one drives a subcompact. Okay, see that? Okay, good. Now, in the rewriting section, it says, rewrite your sentence beginning with, unlike driving a subcompact. Oops, draw that line there. There you go, driving a subcompact. So what they did is they changed this when one drives into driving. If you do that, what you have to do is you have to change this guy right here. Unlike driving a subcompact, driving a truck. And so it keeps the same parallel format. Okay? That's parallelism in a nutshell. If you have any questions, just let us know.